It's time for Washington Shellfish Quest! This episode targets species, purple sea urchin. Hey Washington Shellfish fans, I'm out here at beautiful CQ at uh, Mason's Olson's Resort. The Masons, as always, have treated me wonderfully. I've had a great time camping here with my, my tank here, my boat out there. It's just a bottom fish day today, so I've just been out pounding uh, the rockfish. It occurred to me that I'm near Slip Point, which is just right over there uh, off of Clallam Bay. And off of Slip Point, you can harvest purple sea urchins. The limit for purple sea urchins in Washington is 18 today. It's open year round. It was a low tide today. I got down to a negative 1 1, but it's coming in fast. Actually, the tide changed about two hours ago. So I'm going to Hurry up and get over there. I think we're gonna beach comb along the way a little bit, so let's get over there. That is a huge cockle, holy smokes. Nice chitin. Oh, check this out. I just found one of my favorite beachcombing things. It's a Darwin barnacle. Man, it's big. Look at the size of that thing. It's almost the size of my hand, and some of them do get to be that big. This one is still alive as well. So hopefully he'll get washed out to a better place. All right, so now I'm out here in beautiful Slip Point, right beneath the historic lighthouse. It's about 100 years old. It's obviously been renovated a bit. At any rate, all around me, even though the tide's coming up, it's a, if anything, it's a zero tide by now, if not a little higher. I am seeing little pools of purple sea urchins. This looks to be some smaller ones here, over in this neighboring pocket. There's some uh, real large ones in there, primarily this one. That one's pretty big too. Come on, keys. There we go. Haha. -ha. And the truck keys did it. There we go. It's a nice looking purple sea urgent. Alright, there we go. Purple sea urgent. Although the limit's 18, I'm only going to get maybe three, three to five. Because in my opinion, uni's only good when it's really fresh. And I'm talking straight out of the animal. Don't get me wrong, I'll eat it if it's a little older, but it's just one of those things kind of like uh, drinking an oyster. It's just so much better fresh. All right, so I've just gotten home from a very fun weekend of CQ fishing. Boats all cleaned out, fish are vacuum sealed. So I'm going to have some fresh uni before I hit the hay. To clean the, the, to clean the sea urchins, they have kind of a beak area down here. You can't really see it because of the back lighting, but it's, it's a little softer. The shell's not all that hard, but there's a little beak right here. You just take some scissors and kind of cut around. And the cutting is very easy. Uh, the shells are actually pretty soft and just like this All right that you can kind of see in here little yellow pieces that's what we want those are the gonads actually they are the reproductive organs of the animal that I will be eating all right, here's the best example of a gonad that when I opened up. Like I said, it's a little yellow, but maybe that's more of an orange tinge, I don't know. Orange, pink, uh, yellow, I can't really tell. But then you put them in a, uh, then I dump them in a little salt water bath here just to rinse them off and separate them from the other gunk that it was floating around with. So in this one, the gonads are a little more pronounced. So I flipped out the rest of the viscera and right along the edges of this here, you can see very clearly there you go. You can see very clearly those are all the gonads right around there. And I'm just going to gently pluck all of them out and put them into the water bath. Uh, you know, I'm a pretty soft texture guy. I mean, I've developed a taste for oysters over the years. I like oatmeal, creme wheat, that sort of thing. But I will admit, uh, uni is a little soft for me even when completely fresh. So to even it out, I usually just get a little, uh, you know, I, I eat the little seaweed rectangles, whatever they're called, uh, seaweed snacks, I guess. Just put a little sushi rice on there with uni on top and just eat it that way. Uh, a lot of people say it's kind of like a buttery seafood, so I'm going to put this in my mouth and then uh, you can watch me eat, which I'm sure is always a treat, then I'll let you know what I think. Mm -hmm. 
buttery is not a bad explanation for it. It's definitely got a creamy taste to it now. Keep in mind, they are the gonads. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of like a creamy, salty, tastes very oceany. I mean, I guess that's kind of something that shares in common with an oyster. Like I say, I like it, but I didn't like with it. That's probably another reason why I only ever get five or six of them called a day. But at any rate, that's Sea Urgent. So thank you so much, Washington Shellfish Questers. We'll see you next time.